Welcome to Lunch with Sandra. Sorry I missed you last week. I uh, was out of town. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk about how to clear your energy field. This is a really great topic. Uh, one of my followers asked me, how can I keep other people's negative energy off of me? Well, first of all, if you're watching this video, understand that you are probably what's called clairsentience. A clairsentience means that you are sensitive and you have the ability to feel other people. So being aware of what your spiritual gifts are is really a great way to understand, am I feeling my own feelings or am I feeling someone else's right now? And being a clear empath means you're empathic. You pick up on other people's emotions, negative energy, positive energy, and you're like a sponge. So being aware when you're doing that is the first step in saying, is this my energy or is this someone else's energy? So that's what today's topic is about. Feel free, jump in, ask any questions you would like. Uh, I also have my cards. So if anybody would like a reading, this is just a great way. I'm an intuitive life coach. This is a great way for you to get to know me and me to get to know you. And also to understand the work that I do as an intuitive life coach and as a connector of heaven and earth. One of my favorite topics. So I'm all about connecting you with your guides, your mediums, or doing some mediumship, connecting you with your loved ones who have crossed over, as well as also um, helping you feel your spirit guides near you and knowing answers. So back to the energy field. So we all have this EMF or this electromagnetic field and it goes about, yay, yay, big. It's about your arm's length big. Being aware of your electromagnetic field will help you to understand, hi, thanks for joining, will help you to understand what kind of laws of attraction you're creating also. And if you're wondering what your electromagnetic field looks like or feels like or is creating, all you have to do is look at your life right now. Hmm, what's showing up for me? Do I have difficult relationships? Am I struggling with money? Am I struggling with my health? Look at the areas that you're struggling with health, relationships, and career. That's a great way to start in your life. Be aware of what you're creating by looking at what your current situation is. Are you having a problem with your relationship? Then you wanna look inside. What part of you is magnetically attracting those kinds of relationships around you. Being aware of what kind of uh, energy field that you are vibing that, that maybe is causing you to get hurt, some victim energy or maybe some perpetrator energy where you feel um, like you need to beat people up, like you're highly judgmental of other people. When you're around other people, do you notice the judgments that go on in your head? That's gonna put off a vibe. So your electromagnetic energy field, your EMF or your aura is all going on around you all the time. It cannot not go on. It's like uh, a person's electricity. You've got it going on all the time. There's there's energy flowing all the time. So what you're vibing, what you're putting out is based on your thoughts, your feelings, and also your um, how that's affecting your chakras or your vibrational frequencies. Your, they're also called wheels of light that go up and down your spine. How your chakras are being affected is what's creating your electromagnetic energy field. Okay, so with that, does anybody have any questions or uh, I had somebody ask me uh, how to clean your field. Let's get back to that question. How to clean your energy field and what that looks like is when somebody gets around you and they're really negative, they're pissed off or whatever, they're unloading on you, sometimes you'll pick that up. A lot of times you'll pick that up and you'll be done with that person or having lunch with that person and you'll feel really icky like ugh, like you need to shake that off so be aware 
that other people's energy, especially if you are sensitive, is going to affect you. And how it affects you depends on how grounded you are in your own body. So everybody, before we get started, let's get grounded. Let's put your fingertips together, your tongue on the roof of your mouth that connects your governing and your central meridians right there. And just repeating, I choose to be in my body 100%. When you choose to be in your body 100%, you then don't allow the negativity to come in. And a lot of you guys work in negative environments where people can be really hostile or people can be mean and um, off balance themselves. So being aware of other people's energy around you will help you to go right now is what I'm feeling coming from me or is it coming from them and realize that we're all connected we are always connected so when you can realize that we are all connected then you go okay I'm automatically giving off a vibe and I'm automatically picking up their vibe when you're aware that you're picking up negative vibes, choose to be in your body 100%. Choose, intention is far greater than anything else. When you are choosing to be 100% present in your body in the present moment, you can then dictate what goes on inside here, which then affects what goes on out here. Okay, any questions with that? Um, a couple of tools that can help you do that is uh, when you get home from work and you've been in a really hostile environment or you've been around your family let's say and that's a hostile environment take a salt bath that's huge or go, if you're lucky enough to be by the ocean go swim in the ocean go get your feet in salt water or even just washing your hands with a little bit of salt water helps clear energy salt neutralizes energy so be aware that um, even putting salt lamps in your house. I've got a couple throughout my house. And uh, those Himalayan rock salt lamps, those are pretty cool. I can show you mine. And being aware of um, the negative ions that those put off, they help to neutralize the energy. Also, sage is a great tool. Burn a little sage in your house when you've had negative people around, or even if you're going to be with a group of people that you know might be a little bit negative, then, okay, let me see. Oh yes, thank you, Kelly, I just had a question. You can pick up negative energy from those who have passed on, absolutely. So we'll talk about that for a second. Um, so let me finish saging your, your house or your space diffusing essential oils those are all very powerful and uh, clear intention so picking up negative energy from spirits or others who have passed on especially if those beings are in a dark place I had the opportunity this week to work with a spirit through one of my clients uh, that is renovating a building and this building is quite old and the, so this building is haunted by the person who built this building and, and it's not necessarily haunted he's not trying to scare them off but he's he's been doing some things that are a little irritating to the building so uh, what I did is I just connected with him and actually I, I always learn a lot by connecting with people on the other side what their experience are experiences are and perhaps if they are earthbound, what's causing them to be earthbound and stopping them from progressing. Now, interesting, this gentleman crossed over when, back in 1922. He's been dead a long time. So you have to say, what is causing him to occupy this, this building? Well, number one, he created the town. Number two, this was his building, the, one of the very first buildings that was created in the town. So he wanted to make sure the renovations of this building were up to par, up to what he wanted. And I know uh, one of my followers that's on right now, she had the same experience with her house. The original people who built the house wanted to make sure that the renovations they were doing were up to par, which is quite fascinating, right? 
Anyway, I connected with this gentleman and there's a couple of things that I learned. Uh, number one, he did not want to move on. He wanted to stay on the planet because his experiences on the planet were very tied to his ego or his identity. Because he was named, at, or he named the town after his daughter, he was very, very tied to that town and what happens there. And he loved being on the planet, he loved his ego, he loved his presence on the planet. Therefore, when he crossed over, he didn't keep going. He wanted to stay. And of course, free will is honored. And so he is now staying in that building and, and throughout the town. And uh, we just connected with him and we honored him and let him know that we're honoring him and his building. And he seemed more at ease with that. He just didn't want his his creation to be changed from what he had intended it to be. So yes, spirits from the other side definitely can create a lot of negative energy in your working situation, in your home, in your, um, if it's a loved one that is connected to you and they, let's say had, um, there was some fighting between the two of you or they had a lot of animosity between the two of you, then absolutely a person that crosses over can be attached. And they may be looking for forgiveness and they may be doing their life review and they're just looking to resolve their life. So realizing that those people are there. Now what do you do with them? That's a great question. When you feel a a spirit like that or a lower vibration or a negative energy it helps if you can just talk to them let them know you know they're there and see if you can find some happy ground where you two can communicate and a lot of times what I will do when I'm connecting with somebody and I'm looking for some answers I'll do automatic writing so just pull out a notebook and talk to that person as if they're sitting right in front of you and just begin to write so I'll I'll write a question and then I'll just do what's called the automatic writing I just let the energy flow through my body and flow through my hands and it just I just write okay that's really a fabulous way to be able to connect with these beings and also to let them know that all is well in your world and hopefully you can get to a resolution sometimes if you feel those spirits that are really stuck and you're not finding a resolution with them come on in um, I'll help you out or connect you with one of my coaches um, one of my mediums and intuitives and they can help uh, help the bridge you bridge with this uh, past beloved being aware of so many different energies around you can help you understand why you're feeling a certain way and definitely the salt water bath if you've had a lot of negative energy around you great question Kelly thanks for asking anyone else have a question okay so I've got my trusty card deck and we're gonna pull some cards. Um, by the way, for you who are watching, we do have our uh, Way of the Mastery book club tonight in Bountiful if you're in the area, or if you're not in the area, we could connect you via phone or video. All right, okay, anybody want a card? Who wants a card? A card, a card, a card. Let's see, Rochelle is on, Kelly. I can't tell who's on my periscope. Uh, I think it's Elaine. Okay, there we are. Oh, sorry, I can't get back. <laughs> I tap on my screen and I don't know how to get back. There we go, me. Elaine, thanks for joining. Okay, Kelly wants a card, Elaine wants a card. Okay, great ladies. Okay, so this card is first um, coming to, this card's coming for Elaine. Okay, so intuitives. I'm teaching um, some of you coaches that are on. I'm teaching you how to do some readings right now. When you're doing a reading for somebody specifically, what you'll do is you'll just check in and you're gonna ask. Right now, I'm connecting with Elaine's energy. She's given me permission to do that. 
and I just remember intention is everything uh, I stay in my column of light of course and I keep her in her column of light but I'm accessing her energy so that I'm just asking to assist me in connecting with her guides and giving her the highest and best answer that can assist her in her life right now so uh, Elaine it is your lucky day new resources of time money and support are coming your way and we've already talked about that so what, 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 what? Uh, it's a change in job or promotion congratulations you're going to be working at the light center <laughs> that's um, that, I, I love the card because it, it shows Doreen I'll show you guys up here and you guys down here shows Doreen virtue is the little angel here and the magic and it that's all around her and just the beautiful gold in the card and little pieces of gold all around her too. For you, Elaine, it's, um, and for everybody, so this reading is for everybody also, that when you, when you aren't achieving what you want in life, it just means there's blocks. It There's blocks within you to being a vibrational match to that. So you wanna look at the block comes from your thoughts and it comes from your feelings. And being aware of what those blocks are can help you, of course, release them. And uh, the first block that most everyone has with, um, well, with anything, you want to look at why do I want this and why do I, why do I not want this? Card down. So there's parts of you that want something and there's parts of you that don't want it and understanding the parts of you that want something and the parts of you that don't want it is really really powerful and so again everybody pull out if you don't have my meditate on the go journal get it because it's very powerful you're gonna pull out your don't want do want list and you're gonna draw a line like this and one side's going to be don'ts and the other side's going to be do's what I don't want, what do I want? When you look at, okay, I want a career as, let's say, a light worker or an intuitive. Okay, I do want that. What I don't want is painful clients. What I don't want is dark energy. What I don't want is dark spirits around me. So list all those don't wants and then look to the do wants. And those don't wants are a good clue to show you what's been blocking you. So for you, Elaine, Clap your hands because you are becoming more of a vibrational frequency to that which you want. So congratulations. And I would encourage all of you that are watching this, go back and do your don't want, do want list. And if you're saying to me, oh, I have already done this list, do it again. This list changes because you think you want something, but then all of a sudden you go, oh wait you start to get it and you go maybe I don't want it anymore so be aware of uh, your don't want do wants when you know what your don't wants are then you can go okay so get a clearer intention of what you do want to create and the don't wants fade away okay it's time for Kelly's card Kelly asked for a card so Um, Elaine, was there any more questions you had on that before I wanted to complete that? Okay. So now I'm connecting with Kelly. Okay, Kelly, here you are. Oh. This is a committed romantic relationship. Being swept off your feet, situations and topics that make your heart flutter, which is kind of funny for you. Okay, so this is a knight on a stallion. I'll show you the picture. First here and up here. Can you guys all see that? This card for you represents a relationship that you are currently in and uh, let me just kind of check into the relationship as you play with this relationship Kelly it's gonna be really fun for you to expand so what it's showing me when I'm reading your energy field is that you have 
you have this comfort zone that's right pretty close around you. And you know what I'm talking about. But this, and, and by the way, this coaching is for everybody. Everybody has a comfort zone where you let people into your life only so far. So being aware where your bubble or your comfort zone is can really help you to go, okay, can I be completely authentic with this person? Can I, can I stretch my comfort zone with other people? In other words, can I stretch my bubble? Can I expand my bubble and let people in? When we have been hurt in relationships, we tend to make our bubble really strong. And so I'm only gonna let you come in this far to me. But when you open that and you can be completely intimate with a person, I'm not necessarily talking about being physically intimate with a person, but being aware of being um, emotionally intimate with a person when you and intimacy means into me I see so I see me through you and can I trust can I trust you that you're not going to hurt me that's a great question right well here's a secret Shh, don't tell no one can hurt you without your consent I know that's hard to believe. Emotionally. Now, people can beat you up and really hurt you physically, but no one can mentally and emotionally do anything to you without you giving away your power, without you allowing them to hurt you. So, being able to be completely honest in your relationships and saying, you know, there's a part of me that's afraid that you're going to hurt me. There's a part of me that is afraid of being raw and vulnerable to you because it, I feel very exposed. By the way, if you're having dreams of being naked, that's a sign that you feel like you're being exposed in life. That's a whole nother topic, and remind me, we can do that topic, dreams. They are so fascinating. Okay, um, so back to Kelly for your card. It's saying to expand your bubble, to let more people in. You're having some good experiences with people in your life as far as relationships and connecting with people. Let more people in. I recommend people have four or five or six people that they're pretty close with that they can be raw, vulnerable, and authentic. And you may think that you have somebody that is that for you and then they may let you down. And that's okay people will come and go in your life that person is a valuable lesson for you don't let past relationships dictate your present relationships oh that's good so I'm gonna repeat that don't let past negative relationships affect your current relationships okay any questions on that Kelly did you get let me get your card Kathy welcome thanks for joining okay so for all of us this week I'm going to recommend we uh, expand our bu bubbles and relationships um, hold on I love it it's a relationship I've been more vulnerable and open yes Changing my bubble, yes, perfect. Okay, so Kelly's just mentioning in our live video that's also going on in Facebook that she's expanding her bubble. So we wanna all give her an applause for that. And um, Kelly, we have book club tonight here at my home if you'd like to join. And don't I have a really fun place? This is where we're gonna have book club right here. Right there on my table. Here, I'll show you guys my glorious patio so it's a lot of fun okay uh, so that's great advice for all of us to expand our bubble and get four or five people that you can be intimate with not necessarily physical being intimate close with other people allows you to really really grow okay Do, are we complete is does anybody else want a card today thanks Eric for joining I think thunder 
Okay, um, I will pull a card, one more card then for the group. Something I wanted to mention about working with that uh, house that was haunted, working with that um, person who had crossed over that was earthbound that I mentioned earlier, I had asked his spirit guides, I connected with them and I asked them to help him to see my light and you know what an answer I got was that he could only see, thanks for joining, he could only see the vibrational frequency that he was a match to. So in other words, he could not see, this spirit could not see my light because I, I, he was having some frustrations with me as I was working with this client who, who had this attachment or this spirit, he was not very nice to me and I was going, hey, I'm really a good person. Like, look at my energy field. You'll see that I am really a good person and my intentions are very clear that I'm here to help and I'm doing it out of love. And what I learned from his guides is that he could only see in me what was in him. So I thought that was so fascinating, which is such a great incentive for us to raise our frequency. Raise your frequency so that you can see the light in others. You can't see the light in others that you don't hold in yourself. Have, have you ever seen Steve Huff? I have not seen Steve Huff. I have not had an intention to see Steve Huff. So, um, sorry. I haven't, but I, we could. <laughs> All right. Linda, thanks for joining. Jennifer, thanks for joining. I am pulling a card. So anybody specifically want to be vulnerable or I'll just pull it for the group. Ooh, there's a good one right there. Oh, Eric, okay. I got the card, so this will apply to you. It's time to take action. So all of you sit for just a moment and check in. Where um, have you been contemplating an idea? Something that you wanted to do? Well, that idea is a good idea, and it's time to take action. Instinctively, you know what to do, follow your passion, and charge ahead. Love this card. I get it quite often show you guys up here and down here I love this car because she's on this um, horse moving forward very rapidly and then she's got this angel right behind her supporting her and following her dreams and following her passions so whatever you guys are contemplating to follow to jumpstart moving into your passion doing what you love to do go for it do your don't want do want list a little recap what do I want what what do I don't want what do I want your don't wants are very good for you to be aware of they're the blocks that are getting in the way of you creating your dreams and passions and going after a life that you love and by being aware of those blocks it allows you to clear them visualize the end result of what you want to be what you want to create what you want to be doing Notice any blocks that come up and move forward. Move over that block by seeing yourself do what you want and overcoming that block. Great lunch today. Does anybody have any questions for me? And we will wrap it up. Thank you everyone for joining. I'm just going to send everyone with um, that joined us today with a really beautiful blessing for a beautiful week. Next Monday, I just want to point out, we have an eclipse. Uh, this eclipse will only happen, it's full eclipse, so it will only happen usually once in your lifetime. Make sure that you have proper glasses to cover your eyes so that you can enjoy the eclipse. And it may be happening probably around, did I read, around 11 a.m. So uh, that could be pretty fun. So still do lunch at noon. Thank you, Kelly, for joining. Thank you guys for being raw and vulnerable. Go get your glasses. Enjoy the magnetic pull that's going on with the earth. And stay in your own frequency.
Thank you, Miss Elaine, for joining. Thank you, everyone, Linda, for joining. Have a fantastic week. Go out and create a fantastic week. We'll see any of you who want to join me tonight for book club here in my home in Bountiful, Utah. Namaste.